Hey guys, today I'll be fixing your SSL error and if you're coming from Stack Overflow and you try to fix it using those solutions or workarounds and that those didn't work, this video is for you. I don't think you should work around the issue, you should really get to the root of the problem and since this is an SSL verification failure, that doesn't necessarily mean that the certificate itself is faulty, it just means that maybe the certificate can be verified. And how certificate verification works is really key to understanding the problem. When we look at my website certificate over here, this is the website that messed up for me that I had an issue with, it's, it was my own, and I'll get to the reason why. It was because uh, the website, Firefox would add these two certificates here to the chain, but my website in Heroku, posted on Heroku would only return this one certificate. So then when it got to the second certificate, so then uh, there is no second certificate for the route to, for my request or certify module to verify. And that's a security practice because you shouldn't add intermediate certificates in case something gets compromised. You should only trust that root certificate, okay? But uh, of course, Firefox might not be doing that. They might be trusting a lot of different things. Or sorry, they're actually filling in the gaps. But other things don't do that. So this video is there for people who are who are responsible for their own websites that they can't access. And if you aren't able to act to you know control that website you're trying to access, you need to contact that website owner and tell them what the issue is or what uh, the issue could be. Now, obviously, if you've updated requests and you've updated certify and your browser returns that the site can be verified, then only can you actually safely assume that the chain is not being returned in the first place. Okay, so continuing onwards, if you are responsible for the website, hopefully you know what a CSR is, which is a certificate signing request which is what you provide the certificate authority when you bought a certificate from them. If you're using Let's Encrypt or something, you don't have to worry about the CSR, it's taken care of. So if you are using Let's Encrypt, this is probably not the issue you're dealing with. It's probably, it might be something else. So anyways, after you buy the certificate, you need to create a private key to generate that CSR. And when you get that certificate, you need to add it to your web server. And since I'm using Heroku, it might be a bit of an issue because Heroku did not, when I did this earlier this year, many months ago, Heroku didn't tell me I had to bundle the certificates, but that is the solution. You need to bundle the domain certificate with the certificates in the bundle. The certificates in the bundle basically are the intermediate certificates and the root certificate. If those aren't included or returned by your website, that means something like requests will fail to verify your website. But if the domain and the intermediates are included, then the request module can guarantee that your website was verified uh, for use uh, by a trusted root authority. And to combine certificates, you can either use the cat domain CRT and bundle to chain CRT command if you either have are on POSIX or have cat installed on Windows, I have cat installed. But if you're on Windows, another way you can do it is to rename the CRT files to text and then create a new text file called chain.txt and then add those domains, those certificates to it. The extension really doesn't matter as the, like this extension CA bundle is there because you're going to be copy pasting anyways. It's not certificates don't work in the sense that on the web server in the sense that you need the you need it needs to be a file extension it just needs the contents of it it's just text plain text so then if you're using heroku what you need to do is go to ssl certificates in your app settings click edit certificate or uh, configure certificate click update certificate drag and drop it here and then update you might need your private key which can be decrypted using a command called open ssl minus in or something and then you just open SSL R minus in or something like that 
So yeah, I will show you that command here, which is, there you go. Open SSL RSA minus in, and then this should, you enter your password or passphrase, and then you can see your private key, and then you just add it here. And you might need to clear your clipboard afterwards as well, okay? And then just confirm that the certificate added here is the same as certificate used by your DNS target and remove any additional certificates you may have that aren't being used, okay? So I hope that is it for the video. If you got lost, there's always this blog, this blog post, and you can always ask me in the comments. I'll try to help you with anything.